Well, right now we're going to dive into it. Um, We're going to come back to Nick picks, but right now we're going to say the big story. We waited too long. We, yeah. we dove into those games right. too much. But it happens when you get two players that play the game and know little ins and outs about the league. And, and we start rambling. We, we, we get a little hype. Yeah, Our juices start to we think we can get back out there. I got, I got, I got ten plays in me, Darby. I got ten plays. I got my. Ret- I got ten plays I'm left. Straight. I'm straight. I'm good. All right, man. All right, man. The biggest news of the day, man. Um, Nathan Roark comes back to the CFL. I thought it was going to happen two weeks ago, but he got another chance with the Atlanta Falcons. Um, he played the one game against the Dolphins. Didn't go too well for him, and now he's back in the CFL and with none other than the BC Lions, who had the quarterback who was probably at the top of the MOP race the first five, six games until the last two games that he had wasn't pretty well. Ha- couldn't happen at a better time for, for you know, for the BC general managers and everybody up top of the organization to say, hey, we could bring him back now, even though no matter what, you would have had to bring that guy back because he's Canadian, he's a baller, he did things that we probably never seen from a Canadian quarterback. Mm-hmm. Um, that 2021 season, yep. um, before he left to the league, and it kind of and VA got hurt, so it was like, hey, more of a reason to hey, let's bring him in. We got, it's, there's no reason not to bring him in. We have to bring him in. It, it was kind of, it wasn't even like they had a gun at at BC net. It was just like you have to bring him in. He's just Nathan Rourke, and we'll have to deal with VA situation later on down the line when it comes to it. And I think he will be traded. They're trying to tell me, yeah, we got two quarterback mm-hmm. situation. No, like, you don't. can't keep those two quarterbacks. Not at that. Not at that pay. No. <laughs> not at yeah, all. So uh, they're gonna have to make a move. So Nathan Rook is back. How do you feel about that? I mean, it's 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 easier to talk. Not okay. Not easier because VA is a close friend of mine. It's my boy from from Cali. And I, it sucks that he got hurt. And it and it said, okay, it makes sense. But even then, I'm hearing these week to week. And then part of me yeah. looking at this deal, it makes me think, like, even if he wasn't hurt, they were still ready to yes. offer. I don't know why I get that feeling. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, of course. Like, like, even if he wasn't hurt, they were still ready to offer. And it's like, that just reminds me and takes you back to, like, how, you know, this league can be from the political standpoint, from the politics standpoint. But when it comes to this time of the year, it's like – and this, their players going to get cut from the NFL. There's old CFL players that was that's going to get cut, and they just had a hell of a year last year, and they're coming back and they're getting their spot. But now, when you talk about an elite person like Nathan Rourke, even though it was a short amount of time, people acting like he's been doing this in this league for three, four, five it years. Was it was season. eight games yeah. to start the yeah. season, and then two games in the playoffs. One against Calgary, and then once one against Winnipeg, which Winnipeg always has his number. Yeah, you know, three interceptions the first game, and in the in the in the West Finals, right. he threw a couple interceptions, yeah. and they they had him in, on the wraps. But those eight games, those games against some other teams, Is that, a, that was one of the it was crazy. best quarterback play I ever, ever seen. Did. He's he's quick with the ball. He don't hold the ball. He's athletic. He could read the he could read the whole game, read the field, and he's letting that shit go quick. And it's on a dime. I think one play against us after the two bombs that on my head from. <laughs> From Rhymes that game, um, he had one play where he rolled right and then threw the ball seventy yards all the way across the field on a post to mm-hmm. Hollins. And I know Rose was like, "What the fuck? Wow. I'm about to get this pick." Winston Rose, and then that ball landed like on a dime. Mm-hmm. You just saw the arm talent and the type of game that this guy has, and that's something you can't miss, especially a Canadian quarterback. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you, Nick, I'll tell you, Nick, he, he's tough, and, and, and he extends plays. Once again, oh it's gosh. another little reoccurring thing. But you no, know, he's amazing. I think he's. I think he's a. I mean, I think he's great. I think he's a good quarterback. You know, I, mean? I like everything. I like everything about his game. There's, there's nothing about his game that I really don't like right now. I've, I've never dove too, too deep in it. You know what I mean? Because I was more always focused on us, and you got to beat us, which we did a real mm-hmm. good job of stopping that from happening when he went when he was in the league. But uh, I think this is a great move. I think it's the right move. Um, it's just, I wish the narrative changed changes like you, you can lie to the fans and the, and the th- to me and you all the he's not being traded VA man you don't sign a guy you don't sign a guy to 800 800 thousand dollars hard money not including the bonuses almost probably a million dollars quarterback you don't sign a guy for three years 800 million hard money and then say the guy that's was leading MOP is not gonna be traded come on man why, why are you giving that deal then who 
You have you have to because VA probably making about five hundred. So you got no defense, and, no nothing. And he was the mother. He, the first five games, he was the best player in the league. Yes, His, by, far. by far. He was throwing dimes across the field. He was he was doing the one thing that was a weakness for him was throwing the ball across zone defenses. And, yeah. And being accurate, he was being accurate. Very accurate. Um, and he wasn't. He was using his feet, his athleticism when he needed to. It wasn't just like, oh, I gotta yeah. use it just for and, no rhymes and, and reason. And I would like, say, as a quarterback, VA has always been a good face of the league. You no, know, he's a good dude off the field. You know, he's always hosting his teammates mm-hmm. over. And and where is he? At? Where is he at? Washington, I believe. He's always having like, yeah, guys having over and stuff, and stuff like that. So as far as a good guy with character, like he's a great guy to have a, to, to be a face of the league as well. So you have everything you want in a quarterback for the league for the team, but then. Canadian Golden Boy shows up. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do? There's nothing you can do about. It. So where do, where does VA go when he? Where do, what team? What team? If I'm VA, yeah. If I'm VA, I don't wanna. It's uh, back to Hamilton. It's hard for me to say that because it's you, you. He can maybe change the culture there, but the coach has to change there, man. It has to change. And Hamilton, yeah, it has to change because he can go there as good as he is, and if the culture is the same, if if the coaching is the same, it's for all for nothing. Bo Levi's leading the league right now, passing yards, and I think a couple other stat categories. And it ain't working there. And I know Bo's a great so, team guy. I know Bo's a good family guy. I know Bo's a good mm-hmm. leader. So what's the issue? What about – all right, this is a big okay. one. Trevor Harris has been hurt. He The past couple of years, you you like up and down with the injuries. He's getting older. And the funny thing is, is that – Trevor Harris ran VA out of Montreal. Do you bring VA back as the quarterback that he is now to back to Sass where he was he probably been to every quarter every team in this league close to it. Does you do you think about that as Sass cuz you have a championship contender team right now but your starting quarterback you can't depend on him cuz of his injuries he's getting older. Is that a a, a good choice? I, I would I wouldn't mind seeing how much he's going to get Trevor and, and Sass going to get VA. Trevor eats up the East. He loves the East. I wouldn't mind seeing that happen. <laughs> I, wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind seeing Trevor and Hamilton and VA and Sass. You know what I mean? I think I think that's a Saskatchewan culture. I think that's a Saskatchewan, you know, the head man up there, Corey Mason, what that team identifies. I think they fits in perfectly there with his mindset and his leadership and his qualities. Not no knock on Trevor. Trevor, I, I love you. I've been competing against you since I came in the league. You're a, no, it's just a it's the business of it. You're getting older. It's your injuries is happening back to back now. They're happening often. Like and we, we, we and don't we, know when you're just, gonna be back for your injury. We're just playing Madden right now. We're just playing picking the pieces where we want to put them. We're just having fun. <laughs> no, it's not no. I want to see you out there and nothing like that. No, not anything. Yeah, just, of course you're not. doing great. What about doing great. Calgary, Jake Myers. Ooh. Do, do they? Do they? Ooh. Is that a team that you, you go out and get them and and you give up on Jake and and, and you you turn over a new? No, room no, you don't. You, you, start you new? give up on Jake. You, you have one of the best backups in the league in Jake. If that's the if okay. VA wins that job, because you still I'm going there and compete no matter what. But if I'm Calgary, if this year goes like any other year we've seen, like it. Hold on. Go, do you make a trade for him right now? Like, do you call BC and offer up the oh, whole damn cow and the moon and the stars and, and, and everything for him? Like, do oh, you trade for him right now for the last nine games of the season to make a, a, a championship run, or you do just let him sit over there in BC on the bench. Calgary, I don't offer up the whole everything for him because he's going to become a free agent at some point in time. So I'm not going to give up too many assets for you for, to, uh, from Calgary to BC because BC, you guys are going to lose them no matter what. So you either take this third round, second round draft pick, and you let him come over here, or I'm gonna just wait, wait it out. Jake, go ahead, and that's it. Once again, it's like and Jake have approval. Yeah, a lot of pressure on Jake this year. It's then. like it's like what I spoke about earlier with the whole helmet situation. Sometimes you got to look back in the room and say, you know what, anything can happen, but let's not let's not overstep or overcompensate to make it happen now. Let's not give up a receiver, a first round, a, a tackle, and, and then we bring in VA. You know what I mean? Let's here goes the third round, second round pick. I mean, even a first round pick at this point because you got you eating you know, up your cap space. You got to get him. You, you got to You can't keep him. I'm pretty sure you can't keep him. And so I think I think if you're Calgary, you you you. Present something like that. Um, if you're Sass, you chill right now because even Patterson's been playing well, actually. So, like, I think Sass is probably. But they're losing. Yeah. Is it because of the defense of Patterson? Patterson has moments, but does VA win those games for Sass? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to say because it's hard to say. But I think I think there's three good ops out there for VA. I think you got Calgary. I think you got Hamilton. I think you got Sass. 
that you know, and, and okay. SAS being the the the, the long shot because they have uh, what I think is our two good quarterbacks right now. But I think Calvin mm-hmm. is really is a, is a serious like they should really sit down at the drawing draw board and really see if they can figure that out because. Take <laughs> since Bo left, since he took the job over from Bo, we have not seen what we thought we were going to see. I'm sorry. Yeah, because because he was the Winnipeg killer. We know, what, we, we know what, what he could do. We know what he's capable of. Like he can make any throw on the field, and he got a quick release, mm-hmm. and he's smart, and he can he can move. It just hasn't been done. You got all the receivers over there. You got the running backs. You you got, you know, the defense could have a little more pieces over there, but you got enough. Mm-hmm. You got enough. No. Yep. So. Okay. All right. All right. Um. I think we already dove into all of them. I don't have to go back in the bowl situation. We talked about that. We talked about what Trey Ford means to that team. We talked about Rourke coming back to the league, what that does to VA, VA going to a new team possibly. Mm-hmm. Um, the market's open, or does he stay in BC and they have two MOP like quarterbacks that make sense. on the roster at the same time? When one is sitting on the bench hoping, or not hoping, but seeing if the other one get hurt and then he could come in. But what kind of season is yep. that for somebody who's going to have I mean, at one point he was going to throw for six thousand yeah. yards, and now he's like, now he's an afterthought in BC, and I and I and I can't help but say that that fractures the locker room a little bit because I know there's a lot of people that ride for BC, yeah. and they're like, man, you couldn't have done this, you like, don't do this. He's our guy, he's our quarterback. He's been here last year, he's here this year. He almost got us to the championship. We're right there against Winnipeg, um, and now you're just going to let him out to, you know, just fall from grace from what he did for our team yeah. over the last two years. And even a year when he stepped in for Rourke, when Rourke got hurt. And now you're looking at the whole situation, the people in the locker room, and we know and we know people that we, we, we heard some yeah. noise or some rumbling and people felt a little awkward mm-hmm. about it. And we're like, I've even, I've even well, seen some tweets of some ex, ex-Hall of Fame uh, CFL players, and they're like, if BC does VA wrong, I'll never watch a BC game again. You know, so because it's, it's like at, at some point, but, right in front of how do you how do they do them right? How can they do them right? You, you tell the truth. You tell the truth. You say, hey, listen, <laughs> we're going to trade you. What, okay. what, what a lot of GMs and I mean, I'm sorry, I don't want to go too long. What a lot of GMs and coaches don't understand is we can handle it. Just be honest. Don't tell mm-hmm. me I'm not going nowhere. I'm not trading. Then I walk in there one two, then I get the. <laughs> you out of here. Coach want to see you. Come here. Come, come to the yeah. So what we just we just, you just said uh, we could go. We just feel like right now we're going in two separate directions. What? I thought we were driving on the same road. Now you telling me we going in two separate Bro, directions? We we're going on the same direction yesterday. I'm telling you, they, what are you they, talking they about? Don't, they can't be honest to say they like. Boy. They're awkward. They don't know how to deal with people because when you get so caught up in this game and in this world of football, all you know is football. They don't even know their wives. You know, you're not around their family as much. Yeah. Like They don't know how to be around regular people anymore, yeah. just how to tap regular conversations. Like, it's just business, the business, the what's business. What's the, what's the oh. business? I saw you bring in this, this safety that was a two-time All-Star. I, I, I get it. <laughs> that my position. <laughs> You always, you ain't talking to me like you was cracking jokes two weeks ago, and now all of a sudden it ain't nothing funny what around us no more. Bro. You ain't making eye contact. Like <laughs> I know I can, I got cut enough I, to know what it looked like. If I, have, if I ever get. become a coach, I don't know how it worked. I don't know if they getting told. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro. Hey, listen, brother, you just gave me three touchdowns last week. Love you. <laughs> Look, at, we love you, but you can't play for. Us. You just can't play for us, and it's okay. <laughs> You know, what I mean? and okay. then don't be, and then don't be alarmed if the next guy can't play, and I'm calling you back. <laughs> yeah.